the day. This is a love and career message for anybody with Virgo in their birth chart, whether that's your North Node, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus. If you have Virgo in your birth chart overall, this is a love and career message for you. Your overall divine energy is strengthen your gifts, Virgo Collective. Examine what's important to your spirit right now and forget the rest. Focus especially on your talents and gifts and identify what you need to do to strengthen them. Don't let the negativity of the world override or sabotage your commitment to yourself and avoid drama-filled conversations that have a demoralizing effect on you. Protect yourself against wasting your divine energy on anything that leads to self doubt. Your divine energy is calling you to direct your energy towards strengthening your talents and gifts. Beware of negativity that could sabotage your confidence. Quietly work to improve your talents and don't waste time in meaningless pursuit. Your divine invitation is to believe in yourself. Be faithful and consistent as you master your talents and be patient with the demands they make on you. With your divine helpers working alongside you, your efforts will be worthwhile in the long run. Let's go ahead and get into your career messages, Virgo Collective. Universe, what career messages do you have for my Virgo Collective, whether they are self-employed, working for a company, or they do both? Career messages for the Virgo Collective. Make sure, Virgo Collective, that you are moving forward, overcoming any fears to take real action to move your business or position in your company forward. Don't wait or justify. Step out of comfort and take your next action step. Career messages from my Virgo Collective, please. Make sure you guys are speaking up and sharing your message to transform lives. That's whether you're talking to coworkers or if you're on social media talking about work or your business. Make sure you are managing your time wisely. Delegate or outsource tasks that drain your energy and do tasks that are in your realm of unique brilliance. So basically that means don't try to do something that you know you don't know how to do. If you need help booking clients um, to reach a monthly goal for my entrepreneurs, outsource, outtask to an accountant. A reliable divine accountant that he is. Not a karmic one that's going to steal your money, all right? That's for my entrepreneurs out there. All right. Develop your unique voice. Get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or radio show. Now, for my employees, use social media to connect with your audience. So maybe you should get on LinkedIn and connect with other, uh, other coworkers or employers and things like that and make sure you are um, contributing, contributing to the conversations going on in your work environment and things like that. Build and nurture your audience by staying in touch. So it's some employees here in this collective that want to start investing into their own business. You need to make sure that you are connecting with other people um, in that same field so you could possibly innovate from some of their ideas. That way, whatever you do won't be so generic, okay? So those are our career messages. Let's get into the love message. This is for the single Virgo collectives, meaning you have not taken vows in a courthouse or judge. That does not mean you're not in a committed relationship. You're just not married, okay? 
universe will love and romance relation of oh, somebody in a relationship or want a relationship. What? D A A N. Can you go back in the house? Yes, you can have some chips. D A N C E. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Love and romance messages for my Virgo. Single Virgo collective. Somebody's relationship is real rocky right now. Shaky grounds. Somebody is asking for too much of another person. All right, Virgo collective. That's not everybody. All right, so somebody has found their true love and somebody else is in a codependent relationship situation where there are some addictions. Go get some. Somebody get him some, some please. Yes, yeah, somebody is with somebody real codependent. Um, it could be to, maybe they're addicted to each other. There are some addictions that's affecting their romantic life. Yes, yeah, somebody's not loving themselves first. They don't have any self-respect. They're dealing with somebody that doesn't have any self-respect. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So somebody was making an effort, giving their relationship a chance, right? But it's unrequited love and they possibly could have married that person or the other person is wanting them to marry them out of codependency and so that they won't love themselves. If that's you collective, please get out of that relationship. Okay, I'll handle it in a moment. Somebody's abusive in a relationship. Lord have mercy, Virgo Collective. More about this true love. Tell me more about this true love universe. Somebody has a playful true love. Okay. Tell me more about this true love. Children are involved. Very soon. And let your friends help you. Okay. Okay. So maybe somebody has a baby on the way. Maybe somebody wants children. The universe said it's going to happen very soon. And make sure you let your other friends that are parents also help you. Yeah, it's going to be a reconciliation going on. Yeah, this is two separate groups. Okay. That's a karmic situation over there. My unrequited love. Universe, clarify the unrequited love, the codependency, wedding, love yourself first and reverse. That situation over there, universe, clarify, please. All right, so this side, y'all, that I was talking about is the false person involved. Somebody's wearing a mask and, and that situation ship going on. Whoever it is is in despair or either you're in despair because you've learned that a false mask, somebody was being fake. Yeah, somebody was pretending like they had special gifts. Somebody was pretending Somebody was pretending that they had special gifts and they were fake. Like, oh, that's their path. Their path is to be a light worker and it's not. Verify um, more on that side, please, universe.
Yes, a karmic. That karmic really don't want me to put this message out either. I can tell in the cards, but oh well, it's out there. So to the main male that's watching this and having some money problems, because he know that situation is not love, but married, you are dealing with a false person. That karmic does not have gifts. That karmic does not have a pathway. Um, that karmic does not have a pathway to, to riches. Shit, ain't no other way to put it. They don't love themselves. That karmic is pissed off. My heart beating fast. And if that karmic abusing you, get the fuck up out that situation, Virgo Collective. Man or female. Man or woman, whatever it is. All right. Universe, give me more messages for the single Virgo collective that very soon is going to have a family of their own. True love and, oh. True love and children, please. Let me shuffle this. True love and children. True love and children. Yeah, you guys are going to have a beautiful family together, Virgo Collective. True love, children, very soon. Let your friends help you. Reconciliation. Yeah, so um, someone is no longer... Okay, so you are not worried or concerned about a relationship in the near future. Like you good, divine time, and it's gonna handle it. It's gonna happen when it's supposed to. Right now you are working towards just preparing for a family. Not right now, but you're working for a family. Right now you have some issues going on with possibly a mother figure. A mom is having trouble in a household. Okay. Make sure you're going to have a false person come towards you about a relationship. But that's because they know you're high honor and they don't want to have to put in any work. Your actual divine feminine is working on her family. Or divine masculine. Your divine counterpart is working on taking care of the family that they already have. So you just keep focusing on your household and doing your work. Continue spending time within and spending time with yourself, taking yourself out on dates, showing yourself self-love, keeping your heart light as a feather. Believe in your own magic for my Virgo Collective. Love and career message, strengthening their gifts. Somebody is going to handle their business about a karmic marriage. The other part of the collective is going to continue resting on their throne. Leaving your own magic for Virgo Collective. Love and career message, please, universe. All right, yeah, I knew it. At any who Virgo Collective, you do have an evil queen that's trying to work up some potions against us. Don't, let's remember to practice self-love, okay? So regarding love and career, Virgo Collective, we have completed a 
wheel of fortune, okay? So just know that endings are inevitable. As humans, we tend to see things in black and white, forgetting to account for all the gray in between. There's someone in your life who's begun to fade away, or maybe they're gone altogether now. Don't fight it. Real relationships are not the same as the fairy tales we know and love. There are no neat and tidy bows to tie things up at the end, leaving you satisfied. Acceptance isn't easy, but it's the thing you need to work toward. Recreate our own closure. Universe, can we get a overall, an overall love and career message for the Virgo Collective? There's a King of Wands, someone that's an ambitious leader, working on his money, getting his money together quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, you are healing childhood wounds, and you are definitely not in spiritual jail or, you know, Real jail situation might have happened with a queen of cups, which could be a mother figure or someone that's nurturing. And now you want to take action towards that queen of cups. Build a family. Build a legacy. Overall love and career. All right, so single, independent, individual, paying attention carefully to what they're investing in, paying attention to what's around them, to make sure they're not causing any drastic changes in a union or household with a mother figure. And I only say this is a mother because that's what my intuition is telling me. This is a mom that has like a sharp tongue. That mother figure is currently in a nine of swords energy, sleepless nights and anxiety, feeling burdened. There is a need for this mother to get some rest, self-care. So if you want to help your mom, you don't have to give her any money, but give her some type of encouragement. Give her some type of encouragement to start investing in things that make her happy. Maybe she needs to start a, a new savings account. So that way she won't be in spiritual jail financially. There are some blockages. There are some blockages um, due to a relationship in that mother figure's finances. So take it how it resonates. But those are the love and career messages that I have for you, Virgo Collective. Bye-bye.